So here we have a problem that is asking for us to give the molecular formula when it gives us the empirical formula. So keep in mind that we can find the molecular formula from the empirical formula by taking the molar mass of the molecular formula, divide it by the molar mass of the empirical formula. That will give us a number that we can multiply by the subscripts of the empirical formula to give us the molecular formula. So, in order to find the molar mass of the molecular formula, we need to use the information that's been given to us about the, the volume, the temperature, and the pressure of this gaseous compound. It also gives us the mass. So let's write down what we have so far. We know that the pressure is given as 750 torr. It gives us that the volume is 256 milliliters. It gives us that the temperature is 373 Kelvin. And it gives us the mass of the gas is 0 0.800 grams. So remember that molar mass, the way we can find molar mass is the moles divided by, sorry, I wrote that backwards. It's the, the mass on the top, the grams goes on top, and the moles goes on bottom. So we already have the mass in grams that we can plug into the top of this formula, but we need to find moles. Looking for moles means we're looking for our n variable. Writing down our P, V, T, and N, that means that we have P, we have V, we have T, we're looking for N, so we want to use the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law is P, V is equal to N, R, T, but we need to always plug in our P in atmospheres. Let's convert our P to atmospheres by dividing by 760, since there's 760 torr in one atmosphere. So I'm grabbing a calculator, 750 divided by 760, I get that to be 0.9868. So I'm gonna plug in 0.9868 in for my pressure. My volume I need to plug in in a unit of liters. So I can convert that to liters by moving the decimal pl three places to the left, which makes it 0.256 liters. I'm looking for my N, so I'll leave that as N. My R, because I have my pressure in atmospheres, my volume in liters, my R will be 0.0821, which is a constant you can look up if you don't know um, where that number comes from. You can just look up uh, gas constant and it'll give you that value. And plugging in my temperature in Kelvin is 373. Okay, from here, solving for my N, I need to divide both sides by the numbers that are multiplied by it. So my N is 0.9868 times 0.256 divided by 0.0821 divided by 373. That gives me 0.008249 is my number of moles. Plugging that number into my molar mass formula along with the mass gives me 0 0.800 for the mass goes on top and the moles is 0 0.008249. Grabbing my calculator again, 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.008249 is 
96.98, and I can continue one, would be the molar mass. This is the molar mass of the actual compound, which the actual compound has a molecular formula. And that would be plugging into the molar mass of the molecular formula goes on top with 96.91. The denominator of my formula is the molar mass of the empirical formula, which we can find by there is one carbon, which is 12.01. H, there's one H and it's 1.01 .01, each one. And then CL, there's one of those and it's 35.45. These numbers coming from the periodic table, which sums to be 12.01 plus 1.01 plus 35.45 is 48.47. That's the molar mass of the empirical formula. So I'm going to plug that in on the bottom, which if I divide 96.981 divided by 48.47 gets me almost exactly 2. That means that I need to multiply my subscripts of my empirical formula by 2 to get to my molecular formula. Since they're all not written, that means they're all 1s. So multiplying 2 by 1s just gives 2 which makes C2H2Cl2, which would be my molecular formula and the final answer. So I hope this step-by-step -step video was helpful for you. If you have any questions that you would like to ask, feel free to leave those in the comments and I will try to make as many videos as I can on these um, homework help problems. Also, take a look in the description for information about how you can contact me for tutoring if you're interested in math, chemistry, or physics tutoring. Thanks for watching.